Hey, it's Keith, KG's Garage, working on the old HHR. I'm going to show you how to remove and replace the battery, which is in the trunk. Same thing on a cobalt. It's in the trunk. Well, is this the trunk or the hatch? Whatever. Uh, I already uh, started to take all this stuff out. You have to get down to where the spare tire is. And if you do have a spare tire, you will probably also have to remove the spare tire because as you can see, the battery is bumped up right against it. So I'm going to pull the spare tire out. Well, you even have the jack still there. So now you can get to the battery, which is, you can see it's right here. That's a die-hard gold. <clears throat> I don't know how long it's been in there. I didn't think I replaced the battery, but I guess I did. It, it's uh, starting to get um, hard starting when I when I try to start it. So instead of me getting stranded, I decided to buy a new battery and uh, put it in. I just got one from Walmart. Ever start Max? Oh, whatever. It's it'll work. So. Let me go get some tools. We'll start taking it off. All right, what you need is a 10 for the nuts on the battery. And then for some reason, I don't know if I have the wrong thing, because I think it should be like maybe a 12. But anyway, this one down here is a half inch fits on there nicely. That, that one there holds the battery down. So take the negative off first I think like I said take negative off first I'm trying to get it off come on there we go you take the negative off first because if you take the positive off first and you hit any metal, it will spark. If I take the positive off now when I hit any metal, nothing will happen. So, let's get this guy. All right, I can't see it. Hold on. Anyway, I'm going to take this bolt off and I'll take that bolt off and I'll show you where I'm at. Okay, I missed something. There's another hole down right there, and then you'll have to disconnect. Oh, it's already disconnected. <laughs> so you have to disconnect this vent tube. But anyway, it's already done. It looks like it's broke. So anyway, yeah, you gotta you gotta get that guy down there too when the battery comes out. You got the old battery out. This one right now I'm in the end of 2023, December. And uh, this one was dated 720. So, I don't know, three years on the battery. Uh, what else? Oh, the size. I'm going to tell you the size. It's a, it's a T5 or 90 series. So that's the battery you need to look for when you're replacing this thing. And uh, I have, you can see I have it back in. I have the hold down secured. Now I'm putting the... Um, positive cable on and then the negative cable tight this like that oops stay here I'll come back with the ratchet just to make sure yeah it's tight and it's tight put this cover back on it now we just put everything back Spare tire goes in. All right, this goes on. All right, so it's hitting the tire. I'm gonna try putting the spare tire in. I loosened up the hold downs for the battery and I pushed the battery as far in this way 
as I could to get the most room. I think the problem is I am using, where is the tire size on here? There it is. Uh, 15, 70, 16. This is the uh, a spare tire from a Cobalt SS because I think and I'm hoping that it will clear, the spare tire will clear these brakes. They might not, but these are Cobalt SS wheels and they, they clear. So I'm thinking the, the spare for the Cobalt SS would clear also. So you see I have ZL1 rear brakes on here on the front. So that's why I'm having a little bit of trouble. Um, I don't remember what the, the size, the original size spare for this thing is, but it's not this. So it, the one that comes with is a little bit smaller. The biggest wheels th these had on them, well, I guess if you, had the, if you got the SS, you would get 18s, but these are 18s. Um, for a regular 2LT, is what the trim model is this, is, um, would be 17 inch wheels. So these wheels, you know, anyway, I, I, I could just put the regular spare in there, but if I ever get a flat tire, I would have to take the, if I, have front, if I get a front flat, I have to take the rear tire off, put it on the front and then put the spare back here on the rear. So this way, flat tire, I should be able to put that on any of the, any of the sides. Anyway, that's, that's. Uh, all right, let's get back to putting this thing back together. All right, now the tire's in. You put this thing on. This floor. There. Goes. And you put these on. Because I don't know why I have two. I do. And you get this thing and you screw this on there. Getting tighter. All right, how about that? There we go. I think the tire is up right here. That's not letting in. Can't tell if the thing's bad. Let's see. I'm still tightening it. Let's see if I can make it tighter. Once I put more weight on here, it won't. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I took this thing off again. It's still whatever. I think the tire, when it comes up, it bows up in the middle, the, the wheel. I think that's what's pu pushing it up. Anyway, it's in there. It's not going anywhere. Now I put my other stuff in here. Put some stuff in there. Then I put this floor. Your hands this floor here you can put it there or you can put it up here and make it another shelf so you can put it up there and you can have another shelf if you wanted to so you would have your floor there and your shelf so I bought another one of these so I have two of these and I used to put it in here but it kind of didn't really work out because you only have like this much space of, to put stuff so it's like I don't really understand what the purpose was. I mean, you can push, push this up and then get in there, but I uh, I just always put this one down there and just leave it. Just leave it like that. The cool thing is when you have these seats back, you fold the seats down, it's totally flat, and then you can also fold down the passenger seat and you have a flat area from the back all the way up to the front, up to the dash. So you fit a lot of stuff in there. That, that's almost, that's about a little over eight foot. You fit everything in there. All right. Anyway, so now I got that in. I have this carpet. The, uh, I got this um, rear carpet thing. Put that in. And then all the other stuff. I mean, it's just, this is what I carry in here. It's a, 
a jack. I don't know why I have this. I have a little uh, sun shield, an umbrella. That's too big, but this is Florida, so a, a big umbrella is good to have in here. Uh, this is the for the back seat. Uh, things broke. Put it back there, and then this is just all other stuff. Jumper cables. I don't know what the heck. Oh, a lock for something? I don't know. Anyway, this this is just that's just my bag where I could just you know shove stuff in and won't won't get thrown around. Anyway, that is how you replace the battery. Let's um let's go sit inside and let's see if it starts up, which I mean it should. No reason why it shouldn't start. I'm just check just checked under the hood. I have the thing on a battery tender. All right, let's see what happens. Ready? Is it gonna start? Oh yeah. Whew, got the air blowing on me. The radio. All right, I think we're good. Oh yeah. A lot better. A lot better. Turn this off. Okay. Well, shut this guy off. That's gonna do it. Thanks a lot. Uh, hope. Hope this video helps somebody out, you know, if they want to know how to change the battery, this is how you do it. Um, similar on a cobalt, except you're in a trunk instead of the hatch. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks for subscribing and liking and all this and sharing these videos. Appreciate you guys. I'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye.